Imagine losing a family pet, having it cremated, and later finding out the ashes you received weren't your pets at all. It's exactly what happened to one Florida resident. As Jake Stofan tells us, her story is the inspiration behind new legislation aimed at bringing more transparency into the pet cremation process. When Lori Sullivan lost her cat after a long battle with lymphoma, she wanted to be there for the cremation. Instead, she was told it had already happened and something went catastrophically wrong. They, to this day, have never answered what happened. She went looking for answers on her own, sending the ashes she was given to the University of Florida for DNA testing. The results were shocking. They could not identify that it was a cat, but most alarming was that they found human DNA. Lori's story caught the ear of State Senator Gail Harrell, who for the past three years has carried legislation that would require more transparency from cremation providers. You want to make sure that that little box that you have on your shelf is truly your pet. Under the bill, crematoriums that deceive pet owners about the services they're receiving could face a $1,000 fine. We spoke with Stoney Thompson, who runs a pet crematorium service in Panama City. He says he started his company after seeing what happens at larger facilities. We provide a private ceremony here and we do things a little bit different than uh, we found was being done in the past. Thompson told us he thinks more transparency would be good for the industry as a whole, and most importantly, for the owners. There's a lot of room for more personal, intimate uh, service with the, the family member because pets are family too. The bill has cleared one Senate committee. Lori and Senator Harrell are holding out hope this will be the year it passes. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, The Local Station. And the bill is named Sevilla's Law in honor of Lori's cat who inspired the legislation.